Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again and this week we're starting some Mother's Day cards. Um, here in Australia Mother's Day is uh, May the 12th so we're going to start with this beautiful card called Book of Tricks. This is the card that I have made and let me turn it around the other way so you can see it better. That's the card I have made for you this week and along with a stand and the box. Now I know not everybody has all these things to do so I, I will show you. I have here some dies so that you can do a, a book if you wish. I'm also for the bow here well, I've used my bow builder which is actually um, retired but you can buy these online from China so I don't know where I got those I think I got those from China as well but I'm not 100% sure but those I did and they were just the same and come up the large one here comes up to the same size as this one alright so but I mean if not if you've got one of these old glitter girls um, cards oh that's not the right one I've got one that's a book of tricks um, they are fantastic as well you can use them as well so this is just giving you the basic idea and if you've got those and you want to use them great if you haven't this is the measurements for making it without that so I hope you like it I think it's so beautiful that's what I mean so beautiful I'm sure my mum will like it. Okay, so here we go. This is all the pieces. I've done a lot of prep work already because there are so many pieces to this. So let's see. For the book itself, you're going to need a piece of card that measures 7 by 5. And I've rounded the corners and I've scored this at Four, uh, three and a quarter and three and three quarters and then in the next colour down I have done this is six and a half by four and a half and it's scored at three and three and a half this one is six by four and it's scored at two and three quarters and three and a quarter um, and then you want two um, that measure five and a half by three and a half one scored at two and a half by three and the other one's just a writing panel now I've done and put all the, the sticky on the back of this one as you can see uh, because I've already um, stamped the, the my sentiment this is my um, top of my box and this piece of designer paper measures seven and a half by five and a, oh, seven and a quarter by five and a quarter then you need two pieces of card for your box which measure nine and a half by seven and a half. Now the base, I've already made my base here. Um, you cut on two so the one side here and this side here about an eighth of an inch off, so that when you make the lid, it slides on nicely. So and I've already made the base, so we won't need to make both parts. Then we also need a piece for the stand which measures five by five and I've already marked where it's got to go I'll call those measurements out to you when we get to that far I've already cut out a couple of butterflies and I've also cut out a two and a quarter inch scalp circle and that and that was for my other bit which came out of a piece that was about two and a half inches I think it was two and a half inches by the, the width of your paper okay um, you need some ribbon in this case I'm using this beautiful green ribbon with a gold pen I've already done my bow you'll need a bit of twine and in my case I just got some flowers that I bought from the one of the cheap shops so that I can put them on now I better just turn on my heat my glue gun otherwise it won't be hot enough when we get that far okay so let's get cracking 
let's pop them all over there out of the way all the bits we don't need at the present time and we'll start with these <coughs> excuse me I still have this horrible cough so at the score lines we're just going to just ease them up like so we're not we're not going to burnish them or we're just going to fold them up a tiny bit I also um, have rounded the edges on all of them except for one which I'll do with you in a second and I've also put my tape on the back so this is the smallest one so I'll round the edges with you um, I'm using a half inch corner rounder whoops if I can get it in there just excuse me doing that off screen that saves me having all my bits everywhere else Okay, so that's that done, and this is my writing panel that goes on the back. Now I've just stamped a nice rose image and put from the heart on there. So on this piece here, um, we're going to use some peel offs, believe it or not. I have peel offs here, they're all half used, <laughs> as you can see. And I think I used that one. So, and you will only need probably two runs. So, so if you on the on the bottom one, if you start about in the middle of the um, score lines and just work it around the edge, right around, like so. And one more. Come on, get up. As you can see, it goes on pretty quickly. And I think it just, just finishes it off. Oops. Pull that back over there and I'll cut that tiny bit off so that it doesn't overlap. Okay, dokey, so that's that bit done and I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure it's down nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going to use my bottle of fish oil, <laughs> fish sauce, make sure it's one that's not open and I'm just going to round my pieces of card a little bit so I find it easier just to round it a little bit it just gives just that little bit more feature to the card now I didn't have I've only got a huge absolutely huge rolling pin and it, it would not go around the paper so it took me a while to find something in the cupboard that I had so I did that one already And the bottom one we don't need to do. So that's 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 all our bits done. Also, on here, I'm going to put on here a uh, Happy Mother's Day um, in a peel off as well. So I'll pull that out of there and put that on. Oh. These you can find at any craft shop. There's a piece of the middle bit is stuck in there that's good got that out so I'm going to put that on this side here like so on an angle just because I will like it on an angle so that that's that piece done so let's start assembling our box oops our book rather let's start by putting our back on and as I say I have already put all my tape on the back um, I did this because this is a fairly long card to make and I just didn't see the point in you sitting there watching me putting all this tape on. It's, it's silly, you'll probably fast forward anyway, so because I know I would. So, 
Okay, so we're going to pop that on. Oh, no, we're not going to pop that on yet. Sorry, we can all pop that one on yet. So we'll pop that over there. We're going to start with our green one uh, in this case. What a silly willy. Never mind. That's all ready now. And just pull the top layer off. Hang on. Get out of there. And we'll pop that, centre that into the middle there, like so. And I find I'm using my bone folder, it helps to hold it down nicely. To get a nice curve, I just put my bone folder inside here, like so. And I pull this edge off. This way, I get a curve in my paper as well. Alright, once I've done that, I can then use my bone folder to hold that down nice and tightly, which it doesn't want to do. I think it's because it's on like a glittery kind of paper. So I'll pop a bit of glue on there. That'll hold that one down. That's the only problem with some of these glittery papers. They look so beautiful, but they don't want to stick. Now, if they don't stick, you can always find ways around it. I'm sure you can. There you go, stuck. So, pop this one off. No, it hasn't stuck. Okay, let's try. I've got some glue dots here. Let's try glue dotting it on top of the other one and see if that helps. a way around it. Glue dot it. <laughs> if it doesn't work one way, try another. If not, you could always use your hot glue gun, which we've got to use a little bit in a little while anyway. So on this glittery paper, I'm using my glue dots. Let's pop them out the way. And that's stuck down now. So that looks beautiful. Okay, so we're going to then pull our next layer on. This will stick properly because of the kind of paper it is. So down the middle, take the edge one off, put your bone folder in there and pull it down. You'll get that lovely curve then in your paper that you'd already made with your fish oil, <laughs> uh, fish sauce. Okay, so that's that layer. And as you can see, you can see that it's just sitting up enough in there. All right, one more layer on the card. And again, bone folder in. That gives you just that amount of curve. And again on the other side to get you that lovely curve. Oops, this one didn't lovely curve. Get out of there. Lovely curve again. Okay. And voila, we have the card looking just perfect now. Okay, now I need my whatever that is, half inch tape <coughs> and I'm going to put a piece down the middle here okay and just over that to the other side that's why we didn't put the other thing on duh, what an idiot never mind we've got that on there I like to bone fold a mine because it sticks nicer we're going to pull that off and tape off. Oops. And we're going to put our ribbon on. So we'll start up here. And put it right through the middle. And around to the other edge here. 
and cut our ribbon off. Alright, so we have a beautiful ribbon down the middle now. Now we can put our back on, just making sure we got it up, everything up the correct way. There we go. Just beautiful now. Okay, so with our bunch of flowers, we're going to pop these on here like so. So um, I bought these in the sh uh, cheap shop here in Adelaide called Cheapest Chips. Um, they were like 50 cents for a little bunch like that. Um, they were longer stemmed. I cut that off. Well, I got my husband to cut it off with the because um, they've got metal in there. And we're going to just lay them on there like so. All right, so I'm going to use my hot glue. So let's bring that into, into the play here. Um, I'm using my silicon mat because it actually helps heaps. So I'm just putting glue everywhere where I think it will touch. And get rid of all the ribbons bits, ribbony bits. And then I'm going to pop this on here like so. Just hold that for a few seconds. Oops, that was hot. Wow, they just look perfect. And then with my bow, which I'm going to put on here like so, which I think it might be a little bit big, so I might make him a bit smaller. Ah, oh there, come on. There we go, a bit smaller. And we're going to glue him on with the hot glue gun as well. Get off there. Over the top. Then we can trim this ribbon up a tiny bit. Great. So that's that done. That's out of the way. So now I did um, stamp and uh, cut out a couple of butterflies. And again, it's entirely up to you what you whether you do this or not. But I just thought they looked so cute. So and again, I used the glue dots on the back. So. Now, if you wanted to put a bow up there, you could. But I think I like my bow on on my flowers. So, and another butterfly. Get on there. Just down here. Okay, so that that's our card, mate. How beautiful is that? How beautiful. That's just absolutely gorgeous. I think it is anyway. And the back is just absolutely gorgeous too. So... That's our card done, so we'll pop that out of the way and we will go through the stand. The stand here is a um, five inches square piece of card scored at two and a half inches. <coughs> Excuse me again. And I used my trusty little ruler and I measured from the um, score, uh, the scored folded line to three quarters of an inch and I put a little mark at the top. Then at the other end I measured one and three eighths of an inch and put a little mark. Then I turned this this way and I cut from that one and three eighths of an inch mark and I marked up half an inch and put another mark and then from the cut edge, the open edge, I measured up one and a quarter inches and put a mark and then I joined my dots to form this shape so once we've done that we can cut this keeping it folded we're going to cut just on the on the outs, inside of the line inside of the line so that you don't have to cut it um, don't have to rub it out if you cut on the 
outside of the line. You're going to have to rub it out. Okay. And that will give you your stand, which your card will then stand on. How great is that? So when you present it to somebody, it's going to stand up and look so beautiful. All right, so that's our stand done. So then we're going to do our box. I'll pop them out, him out the way for a minute. Whoops, he's going to fall over now. And we'll do our box. All right, so we, for our box, again, um, as I said before, I have actually done the base. So all we're going to do is do the, the lids. So the, we, and the measurements are identical, except for you cut off on two edges about an eighth of an inch just so that the box fits the lid fits nicely inside okay so we're going to score this on all four sides at one inch okay scoring done and we're going to just fold and burnish all these score lines and then using our scissors we're going to cut from this the small end here up to the score line and then notch it on both sides. The reason we will not notch on both sides is when you pull this around like this you don't get that piece sticking up the top there. So let's do that on all four sides, all four corners. going to put some tape on all four of these tabs. Unfortunately I couldn't do this beforehand because otherwise you wouldn't have seen it. going to glue my piece of designer paper on the top like so before I go any further. Now depending on what size you make yours, if you're using the, the book of tricks scoreboard or dies or whatever or following it to make your box Whatever the width and width the width and the length of your card is, you've got to add two and a quarter inches onto that. So, oh, sorry, two and a half inches onto that. All right. So, this is seven by five. So your box is nine and a half by seven and a half. That way, it gives you enough room to get around inside the box. And gives you the, your sides up here. Now before I go any further too, I'm going to use my half inch circle punch to, to add a little finger hole. So about half the way through it on both sides, about the same spot. Try Just eyeball it. Alright, that will give you your finger spots to take your box off. Pull your pieces off. And glue your box together. Oh, sorry, I'm off screen. 
I apologise for that. Okay, so that's the top of your box done. Now, with our one and whatever did I say, no, two and a quarter inch scallop circle, I've already put another piece of the peel off on there, and I have a, a stamp here that says Happy Birth, uh, Happy Mother's Day. So I'm going to stamp that in green. It really doesn't matter which way up it is. And I'm going to stamp that in here. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I'm going to use my one eighth of an inch hole punch to punch a little hole in the top. And use my bit of baker's twine. Fold it in half. And so this was about, oh, about 12 inches. But you're going to cut a fair bit of it off, so it doesn't really matter how, how long it is. It depends on how long you want your dangly thing. Okay, for me that's way too long. Um, I'm going to cut it off about there. And I'm going to use another glue dot to put on the back of that. Just to stick it onto the... Ah, onto the base there okay so now we're going to finish this off by popping that card in inside which I think looks absolutely gorgeous oops actually I'm not going to stick that inside I'm going to put the lid on this first and I'm going to use some little diamonty things um, these are uh, got clear or green so I'm going to use the green ones Oh. Come on, come apart. So I'm going to use one here. And, oh, I forgot to put my bow. What did I do with my bow? Here it is. So I'm going to pop my bow over the top of the hole. And again, I'm going to use a glue dot. So I'm going to pop that over the hole, okay, and I'm going to use another one of these green things on the bow, and another one, come on, come apart, up here where I joined my card, my And then I'm going to put a couple more on here. Oh, come on. Get yeah, off my finger. <laughs> Did I cut the other end? I think I cut the other end. Oh, never mind. I'm also going to put a couple on the inside here of my stand. So I'm going to put a just to make it look pretty. It's my way of decorating the stand, and mums are worth it, so why not? There we go. Oh, three little ones on there. So when the stand is standing up like so, and your card is standing on it, it just looks so pretty. Whoops! I let me. I jogged the table. Sorry about that. So there you go. That's this week's card and beautiful box. I hope you like it. Um, not very good at getting it in the picture here today. So, and as I say, it will lay flat in here. You stand on the bottom. Oops. Your card lays on top of that. 
and the box goes on. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. As I say, I'm doing it for Mother's Day, but you could give this to some special lady for any reason. Grandparents Day, um, Sister's Day. I don't have a sister, only sister-in-laws, unfortunately. But, or a best friend, or just someone special. I hope you enjoyed today's project. I will see you again next week with another Mother's Day project. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.